welcome back to Coffee and Scream. I'm Jess. With me is Piper and Christopher. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. Oh, my goodness. This is my favorite night of the week. Yes, me too. <laughs> so, um, how's everybody doing? Oh, I'm great. You doing good? Fired up and ready to go. <laughs> I know. You had a fun day. I did. Uh, what about you? I'm doing great. I'm actually excited for tonight's episode, considering mm. the subject matter. Yeah. You want to tell them what we're talking about today? Uh, yeah, good. Piper, why don't you tell them? Ooh, so we're talking about um, the NJ shark attacks that happened in the summer of 1916 that uh, inspired the movie Jaws. Shark Woo! attacks. <laughs> I love it. Well, Didn't, um, you know, uh, son get bit by a fucking shark? She was telling me. Someone was no telling way. me. Yeah, uh, ask her. No way. Yeah, ask her about One it. of our co-workers. What? It was a nurse shark. Yes. A nur- aren't those oh, tiny? Yikes. Who fought? It was big enough to I mean, put a t- fucking... it's still a shark. Yeah, it's still mm. a shark. I would still walk around and be like, I got bit by a shark. Yeah, she's yeah, it was got a like, great way I survived that no, shit. No, you get like bragging rights. Like, what kind? Like, doesn't matter. You fuck it. Like, doesn't that's matter. insane, I got bit. though. Like, mm-hmm. that... I can't fucking imagine. Did you ever get, like, stung by a jellyfish or anything? Like, any weird... Uh, I've been stung by bees, but not jellyfish. Oh, me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that too. was surprising. Those hurt. I got stung by a hornet when I was little, mm-hmm. right in my chest, because of Ooh. my... Yeah, my... Um, what was it? It was my uncle's on uh, uncle's house on my dad's side of the family. Um, he had like this water slide, and my brother wanted to like figure out how to go down it and everything. Mm-hmm. And me being like the older sister, I was just like, "I'll teach you." So I'll go in first I, and get stung. So yeah. I climbed up it, and the, and little did I know, in like one of the poles in the slide, like there was a nest, and it like flew up and it shot like stung me right oh. in the chest, oh, and I was shit. just like, I and it was the worst pain. Like I still remember it. I. I, like it, it hurt so bad. I remember like, and then like my aunt ran in and got um, uh, she peed on it. No, she yeah. got, like, <laughs> oh, that's a jellyfish. She, uh, she got like a bag of ice. She's like, this will help for yeah. me yeah. to like so ice warm. it. Sterile. Yeah. I, that, I'm sure uh, my my dad was there, so I'm sure if like we do a call in episode with him, like he'll have we'll more information on it. Yes, actually, uh, you should schedule that soon. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, how? Because old are I you? know you have a lot of questions, Jess. I know your dad's uh, become like one of my besties. I say hi to him every day. Yes, because I Facetime him on my break now. Nice. Well, the other yes. day she was up in the office Facetiming him, and I had the snake around my neck, like one of our customers <laughs> yeah, brings in. in a snake, so I had it around my neck. She looked away. She was looking like the opposite direction of me. Mm. But I, her dad could see what she was doing, and I just leaned in and this, I was holding the snake's face by hers. And as soon like, as she Ooh. turned around, she was like, ah! <laughs> it, was like "It was so funny." I was like, I, "I like dead ass." I turned around and I was like, "Holy fucking shit!" Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, "It's just Susie." Yeah, that's the last thing and you're no, expecting. But, but, but then I, a and then I like registered. It was Susie Q, and I was just like, "Oh, you're fine." Yeah. Oh. Susie's so nice. Never yeah. mind. LOL. Uh, crisis uh, averted. Uh, <laughs> no, but like bee stings and stuff like that hurt so mm-hmm. bad. I got mm-hmm. stung. Um, oh, and, and to answer your question, Chris, um, I was like probably like maybe nine or ten. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because yeah, I was a grown ass man when I got stung. Mm-hmm. And that was saying? a hornet? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I got yeah, stung by a hornet. I was on the seesaw mm-hmm. with my friend and there was a nest underneath and... I don't know. I guess I pissed him off. Um, I got stung by a bee. I was at the top of this. My grandparents, like their pool used to have a like a slide that went into the deep end. And I was at the top because we used to have to pour water down it because like the sprayer thing broke. And there was a bee's nest underneath and I didn't really know. So I carried like this giant bucket of water up the ladder and... Just- like, it's, like, you know those big, like, industrial, like, paint buckets? Like, the yeah. white ones with, like, the lid? It's like a five-gallon homer? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, little, like, 12-year-old Jess climbed up the ladder, and as soon as I got to the top, I poured that shit, like, halfway down. I got stung by a bee in the back, and I turned around and fell from the top of the ladder onto the concrete on my knee. Oh, and I, I remember this story. I have yeah. a scar on my knee. Did and you I, break your knee? No, thank God. Good. But like I was like I remember just like f- like rolling almost like into the pool just like kill me please yeah sink, I was please like, sink me to the fucking oh, bottom I was so dramatic I was like my mom was at work I remember I was like I need to call my mom dude you should have seen me when I got stung I ran I almost ran out of my fucking shoes it hurt it, I got stung at like right in the crease of my right ass cheek like Ooh, right, right in that little crease and I I had pants on I was hiking in um, Turkey Swamp and I was looking for mushrooms and stuff. 
And there was well, you got to stop wearing like those little spandex shorts. Like they weren't I told span- you, no, they weren't. Shorts. I told you they, they don't pants. protect you. They were pants. I swear. I'm like it. No, no, and like, this, like to play stop wearing your leggings, Chris. Here, like. <laughs> I swear to God, like bugs be like pulling down your pants to like yeah. bite you. Out, like, <laughs> like, 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 I'll like it's come perfect. home. I just got a, I, cause I just went hiking. I was there for like an hour. Mm-hmm. I had a thermos full of that blueberry cobbler coffee. From, oh, yeah. From YY. Wawa. 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 And it was, it was so good. And when I first got stung, I like ran and I dropped mm-hmm. my thermos and I was like, no. And then I went to grab the, th- I did this a huge lunge, you know, stretched out, almost doing a split to grab it to try to get as like far away as possible while also grabbing my thermos. Yeah. And one flew up in my shirt and got me right on the stomach. Mm-mm. And Ooh, I no, ran, no. dude. I ran. Oh, no. I ran Iraq. You ran so far away. I ran. Oh, dude, you should have seen me. Yeah. But I, I ran so fucking fast. And it was like adrenaline. Like I felt like I ate a hot pepper or something. My whole body was... Like I had, a, I had like a buzz going on. It was fucking weird. I got stung like just a couple summers ago. Like there was uh, like a lot of bees by my back mm-hmm. door, mm-hmm. and one came in, and I guess I pushed like my forearm against the door to let my dog out, mm-hmm. and there, I got stung. And like that, I was like, I hadn't been stung since I was a child, but I was like, the fuck, it just like it burns like repeatedly. Yeah. Like and it's it, like a throbbing scent. Yeah, it, it's really. And interesting. I got burnt. Uh, not burnt. Jesus well, Christ. Um, you got burnt. I got burnt. Hit a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> The bee was packing a flamethrower. It was a, it was a fire wasp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God well, damn it. when we moved into the house that we live in now, yeah, um, the old owners had um, plants outside that attracted yellow jackets. So when we moved in, there were just like dead yellow jackets all over the first floor, like by the windows. Jeez. And we were like, mm, it, it was just like, I love living in a graveyard of bees. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of which, like a lot of ants and bees, since they're cousins, technically, mm-hmm. if, I, if you know, you consider them cousins. Yeah. They since they're both governed by a queen, some of them do share the same practices, and some ants will actually have like a graveyard or yeah. part of their hive where they put all the dead. Fuck them ants! They have I love, they're so cool. They're, they're no, so smart. They're annoying. They're smart. Well, actually, they're, I have if, an older if house. They're not smart. They're just very good at being dumb. And like it just no. That makes well, sense. actually, there was a case of this lady that like fell out of an airplane or whatever, and like some, and she like fell on a colony of fire ants, and they all stung her back to life. Like they saved her life. Like. What? Yeah. The fuck? What? Yeah. And have you ever gotten, you ever had like a bite from a little ant? And I thought you were going to say like they carried her body away. Yeah, like a, like a picnic. <laughs> wow. Like they're carrying the big T-bone steak in a picnic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Tom and Jerry. But that is crazy. Yeah. I guess it can be medicinal. Same shit with like, you know, certain mm-hmm. venoms and all that shit. Like they. Welcome ha- to Insect Corner. Yeah. Yes. This is, I was going to say this. Where we discuss insects. We're like sharks. And then it's yeah. been, you know, like about bees or a bee Yeah, I don't, I don't. I'm not talking about nature in general. Yeah. No, but well, like there's like a bee. lot of fears around like bugs and all that. Oh, yeah. Like, sure. uh, you know, like spiders. I have mm-hmm. arachnophobia. I do too. Funny story about that. My biology teacher freshman year thought arachnophobia was the fear of raccoons, and I would. What? And I had to explain. Yeah. And I, oh, who could be afraid I, of them? I, have you seen their hands? And they're so cute. And they they're have, so and they, cute. And they have like the little like 1930s like like burglar mask. Like, like the like hamburglar. Like, yes. Around their eyes. Yeah. Chris is a big fan of the hamburglar. I gotta do. You oh, see yeah. the poster I have. Right He's drawing the hamburglar, and it's amazing. I, I sleep it's on a big so burger great. bed, and I have He the, does. Have he just hamburger. tucks himself in right between the, the buns. Cheese. The well, cheese we were talking about it. He, his little lettuce day. blanket. You, like, sleep on a bean bag, yeah, so sleep really, a, you sleep yeah, on a, a hamburger. Yeah, a burger. I yeah, burger. exactly. <laughs> uh, but, like, yeah, spiders, um, no, they don't deserve love. I don't no. care. I and like, I know people are like, oh, well, I take them and I move I will, them outside. I'm like, fuck you. I will hunt them down. I love them. I will hunt them down with a bottle of Windex and I will drown it. I will that's drown what I do it too. in Windex. No, see, my, my that's good. Though. My thing, yeah, I stun them. I spray them to like stun them so I know they can't jump and yeah. I like, smush. I'm like, like, I'm like, you're done. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I used I'll to also, I, I used to also just like fire up my vacuum cleaner and suck it up. No, like, I did that <laughs> and it crawls out. It finds it's a leg. It's so scary. I'm like, no. You one time, vacuum listen, out. one time, this was, I think that God, this was like a maybe 10 years ago i was laying in bed and i look up at my ceiling and like the light fixture like it had a ceiling fan but i had like the glass you know covering on like the the um what the fuck's called like the light bulbs Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. i could see a spider was crawling in like the globe of like the light fixture was it big Big it was maybe the size of like between a dime and a quarter okay a nickel if you will yeah 
I ran. This is like extreme. I ran to the kitchen. I got duct tape. I ran back into the bedroom, stood up on my bed, and I duct taped the thing closed so he couldn't escape and he would eventually suffocate. Just fry well, in the fucking... My dad, <sighs> yeah. My dad has a crazy, like, spider story. He was building my nursery, um, and there was a whole spider's nest. And Ugh. it broke, and all the baby nope. spiders fell on top of him. That's nope. yeah. fucking nuts. He, he tells me that story all the time, and it God, freaks no. me the fuck out. And I just got like, no. And I, I have to think myself that's on how fire. my fear of spiders started. It was just like a genetic, like, mental thing. Yeah. I'm like, Ugh, I don't Yeah, you're like, that I don't is fucking gross. spiders Genetics crawling memory. all over me. Absolutely no. Did I tell you? The worst about, is, well, on, the, the worst is at nighttime, if you're, like, you're outside and you're walking, like, I. Sometimes I'll go take my dog outside and like she, um, she'll go like off in the darkness and I have to walk, you know, to see where she's yeah. going and I will walk through a spider's nest or oh. a, a spider oh. web and you can feel it. You're like, is it on me right now? Oh, it's on you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my dad used to fuck with me all the time and say there was a spider on me. Oh, just to fuck with you? Just to fuck with me. I used to be mad afraid of spiders and then I got tarantulas and I, you know, I just gained a respect for them. I they, feel like, they're like I a look, like don't touch gross. animal. They're like fish without But what water. is the point? I feel like certain tarantulas are cute though. I pet like them. they can be cute. <laughs> yeah, like I, I still wouldn't pick one up and pet one, but no, like tarantulas can be cute. I don't like, no. like believe me, I don't like with all due respect, I don't want them on me mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. sure. Because they they're there's just they they're dangerous. Some of them can be especially the one I have now. Yeah. Like that's not a nor this isn't a pet co tarantula that I have. Venomous? Huh? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. But like, it's not like see the thing about tarantulas is that they have their girth and their size. <laughs> <laughs> but they have they have like that girth and they don't need as much venom. Because they have, they can like overpower things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> but but spiders, the thing you got to worry about. Yeah. If you're worried about venom, I would go for spiders. But mine specifically, Socotra Island mm-hmm. Baboon is a, an old world. Mm-hmm. So it's from like an island off the coast of India. There's new world and old world. I think you showed me pictures and like they're pretty. Yeah. 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 But she's, she's still growing, but she's not, she doesn't have I that won't be coming velvet. to your house anytime soon. It's fine. But with like spiders, She's I'm telling you it's fine when it comes to your birds. Yeah. But with spiders, I'm like birds. enjoy the chirps. What? Okay, but with spiders, I'm like Michael Myers hunting them down. Yeah, I'm no, like, no. I show them no mercy, and sometimes I'll leave like their bodies if I smush one on the ceiling. I'm like, for everyone else, like that's then, that's a lesson. And to then you. I give like myself. <laughs> it's a lesson. Yeah, yeah. You're not Tell welcome. Tell your friends. Not welcome. <laughs> and then I give myself like a couple hours to just like get the chills Ugh. off of me, and then I pick up its little corpse with the paper towel and then I flush it down the toilet like it's a little gold yeah, fish. No, well, <laughs> but, but like as, as as afraid of them as I am mm-hmm. I have no problem my kid comes in she goes mom there's a spider I'm like done let's go and I grab my <laughs> shoe I'm like mommy's here let's go. let's go yeah I'm not afraid I, I'm not afraid to take care of business well I'll tell you what you might have changed your mind if you were in the position I was in but I'd tell you about when that remember those murder hornets yeah. Oh things? no. Yes. I swear to God, this was like a couple years ago, probably like four or five years ago now. And I was laying down with a lady friend. Is that a myth? I I mean they're real. They're just that's like a nickname, and it's sure it's explosive. It's good for the media. It's good mm-hmm. for the clickbait and it's stuff. It's a sexy. But they don't. It's a sexy name. They just they go after honeybees and stuff too, and they're kind of like uh, invasive mm-hmm. to like the bees that air quotes matter. Bottom line, I'm we're laying there. We're laying there like two sardines watching a movie, and. Out of nowhere, just past the TV because it was dark and the TV's on. I just see this like bl- big black flying thing go, and it just—it was not. like a drone. And I sprang up. I was like, "What the fuck was that?" And then she immediately under the covers. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was a hummingbird. No, no, no! <laughs> yeah, that would have been insane. To be honest, I'd be like, "There's a fucking hummingbird in my room." I love them. They're so I think cute. getting stung be awesome. by a hornet made me like irrevocably scared of bees in general this, like even if it's a bumblebee who can't do anything to me i'm like, like, like fuck off. now the thing is is this is the probably the biggest like this is the uh, hands down the biggest like bee or wasp whatever it's considered no, i heard they're ju- like they're big i right? caught this thing alive Ugh. i i told so this is the thing i got up and i turned the light on and i was looking around my room and on my lighting fixture my light fixture i see these little like two black antenna antennae whatever and, yeah and i'm looking i'm like what the fuck is that and then i just see it creep over and mm-hmm. i can see it peeking down over the like over the lighting fixture at me and i'm like and it just starts flying around so i got her the fuck out of the room and it landed on the wall and i caught it with a cup and i was just so perplexed by the size of this thing easily it was probably I'm we're gonna to need think, a bigger cup like <laughs> it, it was it was well over the length of a cigarette 
Oh, God. It was well over the length of a cigarette. But did you just put it outside? Yeah, I threw the, I threw the cup. I, dude, you should have seen this overhand. <laughs> I threw the cup and the folder, the vanilla the folder that I used. Oh, no. It was, it was crazy. But yeah. By the way, Show Jess. Show about sharks. <laughs> Woo! By the kind way, like Jess. Shark. Yes. Nice little Jaws reference. Thank you. The... That was intentional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, like weird fears and mm-hmm. all that like spiders for sure mm-hmm. I am afraid of like the deep ocean oh yeah um, I'm not a boat person mm-hmm. I can maybe cruise around a lake or something but don't like yeah. I don't like when it goes super fast the I don't raft. like any of that no not a raft because no, I, know, no, no, I mean I know like think shit can go wrong mm-hmm. with a raft um, oh the god oh creep mm-hmm. show the raft oh did you ever see that no I did not it's like <gasps> alright I'm gonna have to show you that it's like a, it's a short little like mini movie um, I don't, I don't want to give it away, but yeah. it's okay. good. It's, it's great. It's, it's, it's you'll like it's it very lot. original. I don't think I've I ever seen it. No, you'll like it a lot. I saw when I was like a kid and it was just I'm like, sure holy shit. Creep shows the shit. Yes. Then. Um, yeah, Deep Ocean, it's, it's, it's not for me. Yeah. I have like a very like mild fear, like mild form of sub mechanophobia, which if you don't know, is like the fear of submerged man-made objects same um like if it's a shipwreck or something like i can see it like in pictures on like google or something yeah but if i was like to go in like a submarine and like see a shipwreck or something like i would yeah can you imagine seeing that like slowly come out of the darkness people were in that like people died in there and it's like scary i'm like and you're in the fucking ocean like that's a very watery grave and i don't want to be in one i don't blame you no that's fucking insane no. no 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 Um, and like, but if it's like, if I'm at like a tropical beach or whatever, and if it was like, you know, the water was clear and like pretty, Mm -hmm. I'd be like, I would be able to go in, no problem. But if it's like the deep ocean, like, go ahead, just jump in. I'd be like, no. Like, Like, I don't, if I cannot see my feet, I'm not going. Yeah. Like if we, like we went to Bermuda on a cruise one time Mm -hmm. and I was fine swimming because the water's super fucking crystal clear over there. So I could see my feet. I could see what I was doing. And it was so cute too. You saw like the fish swimming around your feet. See that, that is cute. It was so cute. I felt like Ariel. I like felt like a Disney little princess. Like (laughs) I feel like a little Disney princess. What? What? You want to do it? <laughs> yeah. I want little fish. I want those little. Remember the. I'll aqua, make you a seashell bra. The, I want the little starfish that whispers sweet uh, nothings in my ear like an aquamarine. You're so amazing, Chris. Yeah. Yes, I know yes. I am. No I know. One, oh yeah. No I've been waiting for the. Hear no this. one draws like you, you are. Do. Oh, you shush. are enough. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna. What do they even eat? What do I even feed that thing? Earwax. It's, it's, yeah. It's earwax. Earwax. <laughs> It keeps eating my earbuds. I'm like, where are these things keep going? Speaking of being Kenneth, I saw the Barbie movie today. I'm so oh, jelly. Yes. I'm, I'm jellyfish. So, it was so good. Nope. I don't. I don't know how you guys are about spoilers, so I won't say. I'm gonna anything. go see it. I'm gonna go see it this week. But it was so good. Was or with, so I don't even know what today is. How were the week. How were the sets? Like, were the sets nice? So good. Yeah. Can it, I? I can, like, I can imagine it was it doll like. It looks like plastic, like oh, good. doll. I could smell it. I remember you getting yeah. a little Barbie set. Just yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. And all the twist, all the fucking zip ties. Oh, like, well, that was a pain yeah. in the ass. And but love, wasn't my problem. I was a kid. No. And I just love Margot Robbie. Yeah, yeah. 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 my mom. Like, there you go. There you go. You do that. I literally watched it for Margot Robbie because I love her as Harley Quinn. And I am a diehard DC fan. So. <laughs> oh, Harley Quinn is in it? Um, no. Um, she um played I, harley quinn you, you oh, <laughs> fuck. who plays harley? oh she did yes yes oh my god i thought she was talking about like dua lipa right. well he might duo. be a, yeah well right. dua lipa is also can we put a it? pin in this uh, conversation yeah. for a quick second yeah and we'll circle back around to barbie yeah oh yeah. i know she's harley quinn she has a hyena as a pet she's two right <sighs> doesn't she well some of us like to prepare for the show i <laughs> what are you trying to say i'm t- oh, you'll, you'll hear you'll <laughs> hang on i'm getting there okay uh, let's see, Piper, she gets our coffee oh, and yeah. everything. I go to, I get us make sure we have snacks and sodas, blah, 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 anything we need. Chris brings all the equipment and all the stuff, and once he sets everything up, before we really get going, yeah. Chris excuses himself and goes outside for a little herbal refreshment. Just one second. He, I'll be right back. He always goes, I'll be right back. <laughs> so I'm sitting at the table. This is just tonight. I am writing something. It's so quiet in this room. Chris has excused himself. He's outside. Piper and politely. I. Piper's playing on her phone. No, you didn't. You missed when I. You missed what? when I did it politely. You were very well. Yes, you were. 
You're very polite. <laughs> yeah. okay, you do like, everything politely. Okay. It's just a known fact about it. you. Piper, <laughs> Piper and I are sitting at the table quiet. I am writing. She is playing on her phone. And all of a sudden we hear fucking Paula Cole. I don't want to wait. <laughs> like, I was just like. I, it's we, a good song. I know. But I we it hear is, it. Though. Listen, we hear it start. And I look my eye. We you know make eye contact real quick and i was like is that you she's like no and i was like what the fuck is going on so i walk to the door and i look and this clown is laying <laughs> on the front steps uh-huh. sm- partaking yeah and listening to paula cole's i don't want to wait with his eyes closed looking up at the sky just vibing dude and i i have video and we will be putting that on our instagram because it's just so funny i have two words but i was like Can the I most random song i have two words what try it no try it no you won't be so funny i can't i'll tell you what i looked up and i saw that blue sky yeah not a cloud and i saw birds i felt like i was watching the intro to uh, the oc yeah or even dawson's creek dawson's it's not the creek it's not the birds Right? I don't know. It's like a, a lake setting. Like I don't Katie know. Holmes. She's yeah, a bird. sure, 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 sure. Uh, but that's a great song. And then what? It, what followed it? It was just very random, and the, like it was just. I was like, "Is this happening?" I told. I was like, "I feel like I'm in a fucking movie. I feel like I'm in an episode." I know. It would have been even funnier if you came outside through the window. Like you were coming. <laughs> if like I just surprised through. you. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I don't want to wait. But mm. what was I going to say? Uh, and what followed it was Howie Day collide. Really? You know? Yeah. He was. He was in like a real '90s. That's vibe. so funny. Yeah. Uh, but and the I'll Barbie you movie. What, I've yes. never watched an episode of Dawson's Creek, for the record. You haven't? <laughs> no. Okay. I just know of James Vander and Beak and... Yeah. Speaking of birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm not kidding. laughs> All right. Anywho, the Barbie movie, I can't wait to see it. I'm so jealous. I I loved it. I loved it. So good? I... So good. Is it true it was like a love letter to women? Yes. Very feminist mm-hmm. driven. Um... There's a lot of funny jokes, uh, like Ken finds out about patriarchy and oh. everything. Like, oh. and it's, just, it's, it's, it's I also it's, heard Michael Sarah was in it. Yes, Michael Sarah. Oh, he's Alan. Yeah, he played Alan. I love that. Who is, I got who is Ken's buddy, and Ken's clothes fit him. How much? How much? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's That's wrong? literally his tagline. No, That's how he was That's advertised. So good. <laughs> It's so dumb. But no, I don't know. That's always a good friend to have, I guess. Yeah, and then, you gotta have a friend that and then um and then Midge, who was Barbie's friend, is mm-hmm. in there too, too, mm. uh, as well. But there was no skipper? Oh, she was in it. Oh, she was? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. There, there's like a whole like backstory kind of with her too. Oh, God. Um, I cannot wait to see him. So yeah. Um, <sighs> speaking of like I wonder how many... Barbies, you can yeah. dress up. Oh, I was saying, I wonder are how many we? people are going to be Ooh. Barbie for Halloween. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what, that's a good point. Because Eddie Munson, I mean, Edson, Eddie Munson's been dead for fucking 40 uh, years. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think Eddie Munson's going to yeah. um, be a popular costume this year like he was last year. We'll yeah. see. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to be? I don't know, honestly. I don't know either. I don't I really, like, I don't normally dress hmm. up. Like, I do like yeah. a little something if I'm walking around with my kids for trick-or-treating. Yeah. Especially because like. I work full time now, so it's like I don't yeah. want to do too much. Well, like, we can't do I'm anything on work because of the nature of what we do for a living, like yeah. where we work. We cannot dress in anything like provocative yeah. or anything because of the people that come into the store. They ruin it for everybody. Fucking They're creeps. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, wolf whistles. <laughs> Far as the ear I was hear. a werewolf one year. I just wore like a flannel and I had like the you mask. Just, you just let your well, like, you didn't shave your back for a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last like, year I did nice facial hair. It's natural. Yeah, thanks. I'm like kidding. I made I'm like kidding. Myself. <laughs> Last year I did like a vampiric makeup look, and yeah. then I got like fake blood from Spirit Halloween, and I just like put a little dribble down. That's my always fun. Lower lip. I was a fucking loser for Halloween. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aww. No, I don't know what I want to be. I kind of want to be. What do you want to be? I feel like you would look really fun as like. A grunge take on a greaser. If I'm you know gonna be what I'm a gr- I'm gonna about. be greasy for Halloween. I'll be the greasy strangler. <laughs> you ever see the greasy strangler? He's no. he's not really successful. His hands just slip right off your neck. Yeah, it's I'm not good at it. Um, I have no victims. I don't know. I'll come up. With you have no victims. Well, unless the crime is getting them greasy, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm guilty as charged. We'll figure we'll figure something out for you. Kill yeah. count zero. Grease uh, count four yeah, thousand. <laughs> he just yeah. He just leaves grease prints everywhere. It's like he's, what should I be? Barbie. Barbie. Yeah, maybe it'll be Barbie. 
I've been meaning to break out those six inch heels. I know. I just can't walk in them very well. It takes practice. It really does. That's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't break them in. I'll have to, I'll have to practice. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see i would love home tuck and on where we record on this street there is a person that dresses as michael myers and acts the part minus the murdering really? uh my kids are like uh, i would and I, like, minus I, the murdering yeah but when i yeah. walk up with them to like get candy the person always like walks towards me real slow and also i'm always like okay you stay there okay bye yeah. like Selling and, but, and, but i would love to do that but like i can't be michael myers because i'm only five foot three yeah. and people be like what the f-? like get the fuck out of here well, well, I can I, be chucky maybe i can like yeah you'd be chucky like just come out stuck when i, I lived sure. in Leprechaun. the town that i used to live in there was this guy the girl from the ring like sit on his front porch mm-hmm. with the bowl of candy and he would pretend to be like limp and he was like dressed up as a clown I hate and everything. That. And then when you fucking walked up, he would fucking jump scare you and then chase you off with like a plastic axe. That's an asshole. Oh and God. I was like, I fucking hate That's you. Nice. My next door neighbor I did that one year like you. and I said, cause it was her teenage son that was doing it and she was sitting out right outside and I go, I know what's happening here. I go, please do not do that. You're like, please. And, and not even for my kid's sake, for my sake, because like, I would just start swinging. Yeah. Like, you like, just bite your lip and swing. And I'm like, and they're like, oh, you want to take candy? I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah. Like seven year like, old. Like, oh, he won't. I'm like, I can't trust him. I used to always love when he would give out sodas. Seven year old would have caught a case. Yeah. Because I was very like, <laughs> like yeah, I'll, I'll give you what for. Oh, yeah. I would just do that thing where I Piper dro- gives I drop the business. everything and run oh, yeah. behind my mother. Oh, my God. And cower. And <laughs> shake. My mom is the CEO of CEO World. <laughs> eow, eow. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying, uh, yeah, I used to, uh, I used to love trick or treating is so much fun. Remember I know. getting sodas? Remember getting like a fucking no. can of pop? No. Or a can of, you know, you never got a can. I hate no. being too old for it now. I've gotten sprites. No, I like one RC. of my favorite things to do is like I like taking my kids. Like mm-hmm. it's always so much fun. Like I'm always like saying thank you, happy Halloween, blah blah blah. I like seeing people's decorations and all that. But I also really like handing out candy. Because mm-hmm. I always like to see their little costumes yeah. and like, well, like my oh my god, you're the prettiest princess ever. Well, my neighborhood like, is more like Christmas orientated. So like around Christmas, yeah. it looks like a Christmas wonderland. But yeah. it makes me so mad because literally only three people have decorations out for Halloween. And I'm Dicks. like, I hate you. And I hope both sides of your pillows are warm my tonight. Dad, that's, what, that's what's scary. Is they <laughs> my <don't> dad <laughs> loves Halloween. And he, every year for like a long time, he would have like a joke thing that he was going to give out. Like one year he had like packets of ketchup that he pretended to like, I'm going to get here and go take two. And, and then it's like, no, no, I'm just kidding. I have candy too. And like one year he had like a vegetable. Pad. Of ketchup. Yeah. He had, a, yeah, I swear to God, he had like to a, the kids yes. Yeah, that's so so good. He had a, um, like a vegetable platter uh-huh. and he opened the door and just like held it out and the kid was like ooh and he goes no I'm only kidding <laughs> and he's like I'm only kidding and like no here's a Reese's no you wanna that's know what that's a good like, kid man that's he, all he's like my, oh broccoli oh, my dad loves to fuck with the kids you wanna know what so some good. houses do that were that was like mm-hmm. top tier in my opinion but most kids hated it yeah pretzels oh that's oh, getting, yeah, like getting I the little bags pretzels yeah. like, I love like getting Snyder's ones yep. like, hell yeah amen so good. I was like, you made my night. Yeah. Like apples, like <laughs> oh yeah, spreading like dump coming home and dumping your pillowcase and yeah. just seeing all your bounty of goodness. You're like, like, oh my god. god. I, trading with your siblings know. and cousins, just like, are right, you can have I all of have... my Snickers. Just give me all your your three musketeers. Like, Dude, I, I'm so glad the pillowcase is a universal. I don't like Snickers. I'm like a well. weird person. Dude, I was so late on the pillowcase shit. I, I so always late. used a pillowcase. Yeah. My parents. I always used one. Yeah. We never had those like. Pumpkin it's sturdy. No, you things. can't really hold anything in those. Yeah. It's sturdy. You could fit a lot of shit yeah. in there. You could swing it and hit your brother. Yeah, like it's can. always like it's, it's a good. Multi-purpose. It's a multi purpose tool. Yeah. It, it turns into a weapon when you catch enough candy fucking swinging around oh, oh, I can't why wait do you for think Halloween. I like getting the cans of soda so much oh yeah oh, I have to take one of those to the fucking house <laughs> ouch. <laughs> ouch I can't wait for the fall and maybe it's because we're sitting on a porch in the summer and it's like I just want like the cool air just, yeah it's gonna be so much fun it's, I'm excited uh, for it the smells what the time are, how much how, what time are we at uh 29 29 minutes mm-hmm. we've been in yeah. okay that's not too bad yeah. I can't wait for Halloween. Me too. In the fall. I thought about making uh, pumpkin bread the other day. I was like, maybe I can just like conjure it up a little bit, but 
I don't want to stay in a sweaty ass kitchen you and Chris pumpkin bread. You should true. like start a pumpkin and banana bread business. Dude, I, t- I, I love pumpkin bread. I put like chocolate chips in it too. What if you like mixed it? I feel like that would taste good. Well, that's what I did. I made a mm. banana bread once. Interesting. Where I, I made a banana bread. I cut the top off, hollowed mm-hmm. the inside out. Mm-hmm. And I was going to do a cheesecake filled banana bread. And the cheesecake, I was like, uh, you know, I've never made that myself, but I make a banana bread from scratch. Mm-hmm. And it turns out I bought a pumpkin cheesecake accidentally. And I was like, and I had a little bite of it. And I was like, this is fucking good. So it might work. So I put it in like a big Ziploc bag and I crushed it up. And mm-hmm. then I took the guts from the banana bread and put it in the bag and then piped it back in. So it was like a pumpkin okay. cheesecake filled banana bread. And it was fucking good. Everyone demolished it. It was gone by the time I left Adam's. I bet. Yeah, it was. It, I was excited because oh, yeah. you know I'm like saying I'm not making fucking shit, mm-hmm. at least or unless they're eating it out of pity, making themselves sick. They don't want to put a smile on my face. They don't want to hurt. Feel good, but he's happy. Yeah, <laughs> I, love, I love you, buddy. No, <laughs> your banana bread is like some of the best shit I've ever tasted. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I bow. He, I bow. He's passionate about his nanners. It's fun. I, Compliments they, to the chef, dude. <laughs> they're underrated. They're they underrated. are. I always look for a banana baked goods or anything if I'm buying something. I'm like, Chris loves those. Did you see the size of the chocolate chips on that fucking thing? I know. I was like, when I went to Christ. Quick Check, I was like, I to get snacks for tonight. I uh, went and I saw I, that there was a banana chocolate chip muffin. I was like, I know who would like this. Yeah, I was. I was. The sounds I was making eating that thing. Yeah, it was gross. <laughs> it was gross. I was like, yeah. I, got I was at work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That word. <laughs> oh, that's I like I'm your doing. shirt, Piper. Thank you. It's Mothman it's, for the for our listeners. Oh, that's cool. It's very cute. I saw a plushie of him in Spencer's. I was like, I'm really? Plushy. I was like, how did no one buy this yet? I got. I have a Mothman plushie. I ordered oh, from off Amazon. Plushies. Yeah. I don't know why I just thought. I'd thought of furries when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, in a way, it's. I kind was of a trying. Thing. Like, all right, we're gonna get into the case in a minute. Um. Now we're going to cover is the, the 1916 shark attacks, of, mm-hmm. you know, from the Jersey Shore. I almost let Piper do that one on her own mm-hmm. and was about to do Grizzly Man. If you don't know about Timothy, oh, Timothy Treadwell. I've heard of he's that. He's the guy who like wanted to live amongst grizzly bears. And he would he spent like 13 summers off the, you know, in Alaska with mm-hmm. them and Eventually, he ended up being him and his girlfriend ended up being eaten by grizzly bears. Like he was trying, he was make he would always record like his adventures mm-hmm. there. Idiot. And but <laughs> I know, no, I hate to victim. It's a fucking bear. I hate to victim blame, but like, come the fuck on. I mean, yeah, but I made well, my, my thing. If if you if he gets territorial, I mean, as a man, like, what do you expect to do? Like, it's a grizzly it's bear. Like you know, it's it's one thing of being afraid of bears, but it's also like I made. Let's it, say yeah. let's say one just gets territorial because now you're part of the pack. Or now no, he part- legit wanted to be a bear. But how? Ha- like he was like he would want to live amongst them. And my four, my fourteen year old daughter turns to look at me. I made her sit and watch with me for a while last mm. night. She turns and looked at me. She goes, "That dude was a furry, right?" I was like, "Oh, oh for sure, my God, but, for yeah. sure." But Jesus. Me and my dad. We when, and then I was like, "Why do you know what that is?" Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> me and my dad when um we would watch TV together when he had his apartment. Um, there was a show that this guy like actually raised a grizzly bear and they were like buddy mm. buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, so, like, was it Bart the bear? I don't think his name was Bart. Bart th- the Simpson. But he was like, he would like lay on the ground and like he would like play with them. And he, there, like, there were like uh, cinematic shots of him eating fish out of like lakes and everything. No, but there's a, there was a couple, a guy that raised a couple grizzly bears and those were the bears that were used in movies. Uh-huh. Like the great mm. outdoors. Yeah, there, that was, bear there was, was like, like a fucking bear, a unicycle bear or some shit. I remember I freaked know. out. I don't know. I, I was like, what? Yeah. No, no, wasn't it like a show bear? Because I remember this, uh, there was like know. a, it was like a talk show and this bear just like looks to his left and there's this lady sitting there and he just starts fucking, you know, he starts going to town on her. I feel like that's not real. I, I'll want to pull a video up? And we can describe what if we're you seeing. can prove me wrong, go. I will go because I've seen it, and it wasn't more. It wasn't on Maury Povich. I forget what. It and was. is it a real bear? Yeah, it was a real bear. Bear okay. attack on camera. Okay. Wait. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's God. just poorly. I mean, she. I think she was fine. Like, I think she actually like you know nothing really happened from it. I'm actually gonna look. Oh, up the... it was just like a guest on the show. Yeah, it was like a guest. Why did I think chair. you meant it was like a fucking co-host? Like, he just had a co-host that was a bear. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, I, mean, I just think I zoned out. Yeah, I don't know. Bear, I'm sorry. Yeah, the co-host bear attacked the co-host man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 
sorry. It was like a talk show. I don't know. But um, yeah, that is crazy. The, the grizzly man. So he really just wanted to be amongst, yeah. you know, the bears and live and like, like that. The, you his... think he was catching trout with his fucking mouth too? No, he, I don't know. Uh, but his like the him getting attacked and killed like him and his girlfriend was actually recorded uh, but they've never released the video or anything and just oh. like it's well, yeah who wants to see that no one wants to see that yeah. but like except me but i guess it's like the classic like fuck around and find out mm-hmm. like and, you, you don't do that i mean think about it like what but he wasn't like he just it was a guy that really liked grizzly bears he's like this sounds like yeah. a good idea i'm not I mean, sure to be... if my memory is serving me well but i think the guy who raised the bear that i was talking about uh the bear's name was brutus okay yeah brutus but i was gonna say don't don't Aww. you think that he ultimately met the death of the average bear either like you know dying of old age or sickness or just being killed by another bear because uh, what, what what's gonna kill what is like a do, do bears even have predators you know mm. But this is what I, I was know. trying to tell you. This is Pardon what I was trying man. to tell you. So, yeah. Okay. So there's a guy that what he it looks is he wearing like, like a karate uniform? Yeah, I was gonna say he's wearing like a gi, and he's That's sitting. That's what it's called. Is that Timothy Treadwell? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it is. No, I'm not even joking. He had like a fucking bowl cut. Look like him. Looks like Alan Holdsworth. Kind of done. Or like. Jack Hanna. So what we're seeing is my, there's I don't like have a, my phone. It's the, fine. There's like a going. film crew that we're looking at, and yeah. it's like is they're bear bringing muzzled? the. I don't think so. The, All right, hit play. Okay, well I'm trying to explain to them what care. we're seeing. I'm like, go, go ahead. Go well, ahead. I'm just saying there's a, there, this guy's bringing a bear onto a film set essentially for an interview, and this poor woman happens to sit next to him. So oh, she sits no. down. The bear sits next to her and doesn't realize she's there. It's until, muzzled. It looks it like. Is? Why don't I see? Oh my god! Yeah. Holy shit! So if you're looking at the bear, she's sitting to the right of it in the chair. Yeah. I don't think the bear actually sees her. Is this sped up? No, this is legit. This is full speed. That is. That's fucking crazy. And now it's just slow. Look at it, looking at her. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, that's no, insane. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Smack, I love, I smack him, him in the head. That'll make him stop. He gets like, you gotta do bodied. No, I. <laughs> he gets bodied. But it said like it said like you know some say that she might have done something to startle the bear. She and I'm sat like, she down. Said she was fucking. Sitting. Was she on her she period? Yeah. She, oh my god, that's a good point. Yeah, it's he true. Just goes, and it's what is that thing? Is like bears can smell the menstruation. Like what is that from? I that's think it's from the office. Oh no, that the quote you're saying yeah. might be from like without a paddle or something. I don't know. I, just, I don't remember. I don't know what Maybe they were making fun of head. Seth Green for having a period. Jesus. I don't, I don't know. know. But I know uh, I know the quote you're talking about. And I just forget where it's from. But yeah, bears, dude. Fucking. Yeah, that's, I, don't, I don't fuck with wild animals. I almost hit a possum last night on my way home from work, though. Oh, Oof. my God. I slammed on the brakes. My America's Thank God no one was behind me. You know they have a pouch? Yeah. Yeah, and they have, they're the only animal. No, but that... like, it, most time the possums get killed and they have babies like just chilling in their pouch and then those babies die. So I was like, not on my watch, honey. Yep. So I slammed on the brakes. Tree. Yeah. Luckily there's no one behind me and the possum skittered off. Good. No, I don't know how I what like. What you doing there, buddy? I'm getting the s'more cookie. <laughs> okay. No, but like, I don't know how I achieve this because they're usually pretty fast and they can like run away. And yeah. like fly away from a car because they have fucking wings. But my first piece of roadkill was a bird. Dude, there was one time. Those are, no, oh my god. I was driving home on seventy, and a, and a fucking bird just flew down and hit my buddy's windshield. Uh-huh. And I'll never forget. He didn't flinch for a second. He just the bird hit the windshield. I flinched, jumped out of my skin, and he just sat there, stone faced, driving. And I was like, "How the fuck did you not?" How's that cookie? Pretty good. The s'mores cookie. S'more. I didn't make it. I bought it's it. a lot of work. Yeah. yeah no, who's got the time? Yeah. From All the right. You know how many ingredients store? is in a s'more? There's like, it's like, it's so many ingredients. It's it's a lot of work. I can't even count that high. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you dumb dumb. All right. <laughs> uh, well, we are going to get into our story. Yeah, we don't want to keep a long. I'm going to, I'm going to just, you know, riff for a while so Piper can finish her cookie. Because she's starting the story off for us this week. It's okay. I can finish my cookie. Just, you know, I want you to chew just straight into the mic. <laughs> just. Go, 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 go. I can't, I can't, I can't. Take a bite. Go ahead. 
I put the delay no, on. No, you gotta do it like you need like yeah, a. Put the headphones on. You gotta hear. Wait, this. is there people that like crunching in like ASMR or is it yes. or they get mad? Yes, there's All eating right, ASMR. It's it's audible. <laughs> sounds like sounds like Barbie movie. I am eating a pizzeria combo. Mmm. It tastes like the entire pizzeria. It tastes like, yeah, it like, like the, the counter. The floor mats, the floor mats, the fucking <laughs> oven, the spatula. The bugs. The windows. The cashier. <laughs> Ew, what? The fucking cook. Ew. It tastes like the cooks. Their blood, sweat, and tears. Uh. <laughs> Especially, like, we work near a pizzeria, like, right next to it. It's so gross. Yeah. I love it. Don't they, like, drain their fucking oily water? Yeah, the, they, they flush it. it. fucked up our toilet. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Was this, was this recently? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They've been flushing, yeah, they've they've been flushing drugs because the cops been hanging out ever since. No, we always have toilet issues because like they you know, clog up the stuff and Never all that my, stuff. That's why brown, I, I don't even have to flush. My brown knows it's time to go. My brown sees it. It's always out. just like make your donations. You know, yeah. be careful. I make my you... donations. They're hefty. <laughs> and they accept them. My they've donations. Never, they've never given it. They've never sent it back. I don't have donations because girls don't poop. I don't do that at work. Just wait. A couple more years will be a woman. And you'll be dropping fucking. I'm boots. a yeah. I'm a grown ass woman. You'll be I peeling promise the you'll fucking be doing... paint off the walls. However, <laughs> yeah, I I refuse to make to donate when I'm at work. No, I know we do. Because I'm just fucking... because uh-huh. I know that that that's that toilet... the new term donate. I don't know. It's just a nice. See, way that to say makes it. more sense. Donate because you're giving something. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of taking a like, shit. Because yeah. I'm you're making a donation. It off with you. Yeah, that makes total sense. I'm making. Yeah, do- I'm, yeah I'm, I've heard deposit. That's too. my offering. Deposit. Oh, deposit. Deposit. Ew, I don't like that. Yeah, see that. That I makes you. I don't like. See, in my head, it sounded better. Uh huh. But when I said it, it was a whole different. It was a whole different yeah. thing. Yeah. Because deposit makes me think of suppository. Yes. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, that's that's gross. Make. Stop. You know. That. You know how I feel about oh, that. Do man. not say that. Make. Uh, well, okay. Okay. I said it one more time just so they knew what I was when I. We. You gotta say make so they know I'm saying make. I don't like it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Psychological torture. Oh my god, she's turning green. You should see her. Stop it, dude. You know what I love in cartoons when someone covers their puke face with like two fingers, I don't and worry. they have like a they have big, slowly green cheeks. Like that <laughs> kills me, bro. Oh man. Okay. Let's talk about some sharks. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Da-dum. So I am the. Uh, Mm-hmm. I'm the starter of this, I guess, because I sure the, are. I have the report of the you do. Oh wait, events. my shit's getting wet. I won't be able to read it. No, hers looks so nice. It's always typed out and like so pretty, and because I looks can't like read a my report. fucking handwriting. <laughs> Mine is like pages of like, like it looks like I wrote it with my feet. <laughs> no, no, because I have the same fate that every artist suffers from. Like we mm-hmm. can draw real good. Our handwriting sucks though. Yeah, it depends on how much. <laughs> I, I, I have decent handwriting. I just, but the condensation from my melting iced coffee, Arnar, is my uh, is my enemy today. All right, let's get going. Oh yeah, Chris is pulling up the <laughs> Jaws theme song. Damn it! You weren't supposed to say it. Cut it out. Then. It was going to be a surprise. It's okay. I'm chewing, so go ahead. All right. Mm-hmm. So, these are the NJ shark attacks that inspired the movie Jaws. Let's go. In the summer of 1916, terror struck the shore of New Jersey. A shark was on the prowl, and it claimed the lives of four people and critically injured a fifth. Due to the, due, due to the polio ep- epidemic and the ongoing heat wave at the time, thousands of people visited the shore, giving the shark a lot of potential victims, unfortunately. The first victim, Charles Vanzant, was a 25-year-old who was the son of a Philadelphia businessman who was out for a swim in the town of Beach Haven on the 1st of July during the evening. During his swim, a shark had bitten Charles in the leg and tore away a big chunk of his flesh. Oof. More specifically, his thigh. Mm-hmm. Oh. So when a lifeguard pulled Vanzant to land, Vanzant bled to death from the injury. He died on the manager's desk of the hotel he was staying at, which was the Ingleside Hotel. That's crazy. He was staying there with like his... right on the manager's desk. Yeah, like he was staying there with his family too. So oh no, yeah, how old was he again? Twenty-five. Oh, 
And his like, so his like wife and kids just watched him die. That's terrible. And did they say what kind of shark it was? Did they know at we'll the time? We'll get into it. We will that. get into Ooh, that. I'm sorry to jump the gun. It's all right. Yeah, don't jump the shark, Chris. Oh, <laughs> I would never. I would never. Okay, Can't jump that high. Okay. So, <laughs> five days later in Spring Lake, which is up north from um, Beach Haven, a young bellhop for the Essex and Sussex Hotel named Charles Bruder had also been attacked. Bruder's injuries were more brutal as he was bit in his abdomen and his legs were severed. Jesus. Unfortunately, Bruder had also passed away from his injuries. After Vanzen and Bruder, the shark traveled to an even stranger place, a creek by mm-hmm. the name of Matawan Creek. Yeah. An 11-year-old boy named Lester Stillwell was playing in the creek when the shark attacked him. When this happened, Stillwell's friends r- ran to get him help, and a young man named Watson Stanley Fisher was among the people called to investigate. When Stanley attempted to save Stillwell, he was fatally injured in doing so. So this makes the shark have a kill count of four. Mm-hmm. So, <coughs> excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm taken aback. Did the guy who tried to save him also got injured by the shark? Yes. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yes. Um, so... Uh, Stanley was bit in his thigh, and he died in the Monmouth Mom- Memorial Hospital upstream on July 14th. Little Stillwell's body was recovered from the water. Yeah, so the guy who tried to help him was killed too, mm-hmm. but That's... died at the hospital later. Yeah, they didn't recover the 11-year-old until a couple days after the That's attack. They cut him open, right? Yeah, because the no, no, like he just like his remains yeah. washed ashore, oh. and his because like, the so were floated to the top. Because the so Matawan attacks happened on July eighth, and they only mm-hmm. found his body on the fourteenth. So it was a couple Christ. days after the fact that he turned up. Yeah. Um. Luck it's a was a fucking it. shark. It's a big ass fish. Yeah. That's insane. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just insane. Well, um, it's a we'll, we'll, shark. we'll get into the theories more. But the main theory as to how the shark got in the creek in the first place was because the tides were so high due to the heat wave mm-hmm. and everything. So, um, yeah. And do you think, like, that's what pushed maybe the bait fish inland? Therefore yes. Therefore brought the shark inland? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because sharks are very territori- territorial, um, especially during the time of their mating season. So if you're, like, swimming where they t- tend to breed then they'll attack because they're like, this is my time. This is my space. This is my area. Get out. Of course, of course. um, We learned about sharks in marine biology, and we learned about this case in marine biology. So, sorry, I'm info dumping, but... (laughs) All good. That teeth. I just always think of cone heads. Yeah. Well, they have... Like eight rows of teeth. Well, they... Yeah, Yeah. they have like several rows of teeth, and that's why, like, like great great white sharks especially... Cause, and that's why it's like so hard to survive a shark attack because you're getting stabbed by a lot of yeah. fucking teeth. Like, <laughs> well, do, they, do they death roll and stuff too? Almost like alligators would? I have no idea. Do I roll? don't think so. Oh my god. Ah. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Um, so, luck was in the hands of the shark's fifth victim, teenager Joseph Dunn. Dunn was attacked just 30 minutes after Stanley and Stillwell. Dunn survived, though he was left critically injured. The shark stripped the flesh of his left leg. Had it not been for the tiring game of of tug-of-war that his brother and his best friend partook in with the shark, Dunn may have also died. So Dunn told the press that he felt his leg slide down the throat of the shark and that he felt as if the shark would have swallowed him whole. Dunn recovered from his injuries at St. Peter's University Hospital in New Brunswick. Jesus Christ, could you Feeling imagine like that sensation though? A shark, no. a shark throat. Like, like, the, like that's no. like crazy though, because we also learned in marine biology that the reason they bite is because their taste buds is actually in the back of their throat, so they don't know what they're eating until it hits the back of their throat, and that's why a lot of the times when sharks like bite, um, they'll regurgitate. Mm-hmm. Um, what they ate because they're like, oh, that's fucking human. That's disgusting. Yeah, like they don't know like, until it's already in their yeah. mouth. Yeah, it's, and, it's the remains. And they have like the intelligence level of an infant, like a human infant. So they're very curious creatures by nature. So, so it's not ideal for us by any means, but 
they're biting out of curiosity because they don't know what you mm-hmm. are. Yeah. And, and, they, and they can't just like, you know, they, mm-hmm. they got to find out. And their the vision case. is also really bad. So that's why uh, surfers get attacked a lot too because when they're laying on their boards, they look like um, an outline of a sea turtle. That's what I've Which heard. is like one of their top things it's to go thing. after. It's like their pizzeria yeah. combos. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's like the cherry Twizzlers. It's like a cherry Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, dude. I feel called out. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you. <laughs> They're good. They're honestly good. They're not bad. Oh, yeah. So, as the media gained attention of, of the attacks, a shark panic was instilled into the public. The panic was unrivaled in American history and struck fear into New Jerseyans and New Yorkers after the news swept through the media and word of mouth. At first, scientists were reluctant to blame the events on a shark, saying that in Vanson's case, the shark was actually going for the dog that accompanied him during his swim, but accidentally got Vanson instead. Former director of the Philadelphia Aquarium, James Meehan, even tried to de-emphasize the danger of sharks. He said, Despite the death of Charles Vanson and the report of two sharks having been caught in the vicinity recently, I do not believe that there is any reason why people should hesitate to go swimming in the beaches for fear of man-eaters. The information in regard to the sharks is indefinite, and I hardly believe that Vanson was bitten by a man-eater. Vanson was in the surf playing with a dog, and it may be that, that a small shark had drifted in at high water and was marooned by the tide. Being unable to move quickly and without food, he had come, to, come in to bite the dog and snapped at the man in passing. Way to victim blame. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, absolutely not. No, he's he's lying. He's going to eat the dog instead. Like, yeah. That, that's, yeah, no. Which, is, which isn't even better. because That's I, still bad. It, it makes me like so sad when dogs die. I'm like. Yeah, and how often are sharks, is this about a shark, right? Yeah. How often are sharks like, even eating dogs to know if they want one or not? Right. Yeah. Yeah, no. He's from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice Chicago dog. Chicago okay. style pizza. <laughs> Got pickles on it. The fucking pickles. See Chicago right style pizza. The cheese is under the yeah. sauce. <laughs> yeah. Very <laughs> Delilo. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sharks so. However, like the media does, sensationalize the events, and many newspapers place the story right on page of their uh, right on the front page of their of the newspapers. The fear-mongering done by the media affected NJ resort owners financially as they lost 250,000 in the process due to lack of tourism. That price would be a little under 7 million dollars in 2023. Oof. So, At the American Museum of Natural History on July 8th, 1916, a press conference was held. This included scientists Frederick Lucas, John Nichols, and Robert Murphy as panelists. Though they all agreed that a third run-in with a shark was unlikely and were all even appalled to hear that anyone was bit, Nichols, the only ethiologist in the group, still stressed that the beachgoers should continue to utilize the seal nets that were put in place after the attack on Charles Manson. Along the mid-Atlantic coast, sharks were spotted. On July 8th, armed motorboats had seen one one on the beach at Spring Creek and chased it. Asbury Avenue's beach was closed after uh, after Benjamin Everingham, a lifeguard there, said he had beaten a 12-foot shark off with an oar. From this point on... Fuck. Sure. Right. Right in the gills. Right. He was like, I was there. Oh, so I've seen I, I, I've he seen. probably felt like Moby Dick. Yeah, it's like, it's like, do not cite the deep magic to me, which I was yeah. there when it was written. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd rather have a 12 foot oar than nothing at all. Oh yeah, true. Like, seriously. Um, from this point on, sharks were spotted from New York all the way down to Florida. And actress Gertrude Hoffman said that she encountered one in Coney Island shortly after the attacks in Matawan. Okay. Gertrude yes. Hawk. Gertrude Love Hawk. Love chocolates. She made a chocolate a chocolate shark to scare it off. Everyone it's, knows that sharks don't like chocolate. They hate it. They're kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I was like, well, sure, whatever. whatever. I, sure. I would know. So NJ governments were left to protect both the economy and the beachgoers from, quote, 
man-eating sharks. After the Everingham incident, the 4th Avenue Beach in Asbury Park was the only beach to remain open, though it was patrolled by the motorboats and more steel fencing was installed. In, in light of the Ma Matawan attacks, residents lined the creek with nets and even set off dynamite in the water to try to catch and kill the shark. The mayor of Matawan, Eris Henderson, ordered the Matawan Journal to print wanted posters with an $100 reward, 2800 in 2023, mm. to the shark slayer. Despite all this work, though, no shark was caught again in the Matawan area. Mm. So this was like a freak thing, you think? Uh, no pun most. intended, a fluke? It was a flu. Maybe. Oh. Resort communities along the Jersey Shore petitioned for, to the federal government to protect the beaches and hunt the sharks. The House of Representatives appropriated $5,000, roughly $140,000 in 2023, for getting rid of the threat. President Woodrow Wilson even scheduled a meeting with the cabinet members to discuss the attacks. Treasury Secretary William McAdoo... That's a name. Make a do. Me say. M C A D O O. Yeah, that that that'd be it. That is make a do. Make a do. He's like a wack a do. It's like a wack a doodle. It is wack a doodle time. I'm sorry. He's dead, right? I'm sure. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's a lovely name. It is a whack a doodle time. <laughs> I can't listen to these guys anymore. <laughs> they look at their left. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. That's a burp. I think there's some someone is with us. Burp. <laughs> was that, a, that was a burp. Do you have hiccups now? <laughs> yeah. That was a blart. Oh my god. It was a burp laugh fart short. <laughs> Do I have to scare you? Do I have to like to... <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Here at Coffee and Scream Podcast, we want to apologize for the peaks in the audio. I swear I'm not working the mixer today. I'm, I'm, I oh in. my God. Oh my God. I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this poor fucking thing. Okay. It's okay. <sighs> All right, uh, can you, you're almost done with your, okay. your side. Can you yes. power through, please? <sighs> you suggested that the coast, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You suggested that the coast. <laughs> I'm dying. God. <laughs> <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mute my mic. No, I'm kidding. Don't. I don't care. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Piper, it's not funny. People died. It's not Stop funny. Stop laughing. Piper, oh serious. Jesus. Talk about wackadoodle. I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> okay, so. I thought we were gonna try to make a change in the world. So. <laughs> I just fucking kidding. Shut up. So, 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 Mikadu suggested that they go. <laughs> you can't start with the Mikadu. You, you gotta make do. Okay, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Alright. Deep breaths. Think about something sad. It's the ending of the Barbie movie. I'm thinking of episode six. Thinking of the arms cut off. No. Oh no. Hey, that'll, poor, poor Mary. That puts a rain cloud over my head. Hey. Okay, Ooh. so the Treasury Secretary suggested that the Coast Guard be stationed and shark hunts were on the rise. NJ Governor James Fielder and local areas offered bounties to shark hunters, and hundreds of sharks were caught on the East Coast alone. This hunt has been described as the largest scale in animal hunt history. Really? Yes. And this is for one shark? Or yeah. This, well, I mean, they're looking but, for any but sharks. It, but animal. it turned into like a shark hate club, so they were like, kill every shark you see. Like Sharks die tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Evil yeah. dies tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fuck. so 
my so um my sorry about that absolutely inappropriate uh, laugh fest we had, <laughs> but. Right. My sources are the Smithsonian, Wikipedia, Britannica, and the U.S. Inflation Calculator site. Nice. Don't have a name like Macadoo. Exactly. Right. That's you should. Right. Good job. You should have put your stars. <laughs> Thank you. I deserve like, a gold star. <laughs> that was incredible. That's fucking insane. It so, is. Now, did they, say, did they say what kind of shark it was? Or is, are, I'm gonna get into, get into that. This? Yes. Okay. <sighs> All right, my cheeks hurt from laughing. Uh, let me just take a little sip of my drink. Mm-hmm. Hang on. What are you drinking? Uh, I am drinking a vodka soda, mm-hmm. but I also have an iced coffee on the side. I have a can of ginger ale and a, just a non-alcoholic seltzer. I like options. Of course. So of course. You, never it know, is you never know what definitely, I'm for. Like I said last episode... Mm-hmm. The last beverage here. <laughs> yeah, we beverages galore. Oh yeah, we stay hydrated here. Yeah, I need the coffee to get me going. Yeah, you know the, the bubbles and the beer mm-hmm. to you know give me loosen give me, up a little bit. Give me like a nice little thing to look forward to. Some mouthfeel. Yeah, and then some Paula Cole to. And then you got the oh, soda yeah. to just crack out. Yeah, just to completely fucking sure. <clears throat> just lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need the Paula Cole to open your your, your heart chakras. I think it was her that gave me cotton mouth. Not the J. I was thirsty after I listened to her. All right. Let's finish this up, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. So after the second attack, people began to theorize what kind of shark was responsible. At the Beach Haven Fatality, there were witnesses that claimed the shark was nine foot long. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Which is something. It's almost ten. That's a big... <laughs> Double digits. That's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. On July 14th, a Barnum & Bailey lion tamer named Michael Schleiser, uh, he caught a shark that was seven and a half feet long and 325 pounds, a few miles away from the mouth of the Matawan Creek where he was fishing in the Raritan Bay. Mm. The shark almost sunk his boat, but he managed to kill it with a broken oar. He sliced it. He sliced it. Sliced. Yeah. He's well, sliced. He just sliced. He's a slicer. He's a slicer. Schleicer. That sounds like a jerk, like a, uh, like a I'm shyster. Sure it is. Like I'm, a shyster. He really tried to steal the comedic value of Mikadoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this little fucker. Yeah. He's Mikadoo too. Yeah. Like a Mikadoo. Yeah. His name is Mikadoo. Mikadoo. No, Mikadoo. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say that. Oh, we have to cut. All right, cut it, cut it, cut it. Good thing okay. our producer's Jewish. Right. He'll cut it out on his right. own. All right. Take it from, he tried to steal the comedic value. <laughs> yeah. Good. He tried to steal the comedic value of Mikadoo. He fucking did. Yeah, well, this is Mikadoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Mikadoo. Stop it. Sorry, I just can't. It's so catchy now. I feel like driving home like, Mikadoo, Mikadoo. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, no one's All gonna right. listen again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, so upon opening the shark's belly, <laughs> he pulled out suspicious fleshy material and bones. Interesting. Mm. The shark was identified by scientists as a young great white, and its stomach contents were labeled as human. There were no other attacks the rest of the summer along the Jersey Shore in 1916. <clears throat> the young Great White was declared to be the man-eater by Murphy and Nichols. But there's, you know, there were skeptics. And some people even said that it probably wasn't a shark at all. They're like, well, it could be these big sea turtles or it could be, you know, all sorts of stuff, mm-hmm. which is just, come on. Mm-hmm. They just never heard of, like, a shark like that no, in but, shallow No, but, like, back then like... they even, like, people would say, like, Sharks can't, like, they can bite you, maybe, but they can't kill you. They're not going to attack you. Yeah. Yeah. They would say, like, oh, a shark's bite can't even break a human bone, which is, like, we everyone knows it's not true. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's... It's like the hyena he, of the he, ocean. He severed Bruder's legs off. Like, yeah. The, yeah. You got to get through a bone for that shit. <laughs> yeah. And many researchers agree in saying <clears throat> that the Great White was responsible, but not everybody agreed. Mm-hmm. Biologist George... Uh, Lano and Richard Ellis suggest that the attacks could have been done by the lesser known bull shark. Bull sharks have a history of attacking humans and can easily go from salt water, 
the ocean, yeah, mm-hmm. to freshwater the creek. The great white sh- uh, Schleicer killed was an oceanic species, therefore could not have been responsible for the Matawan Creek attacks. Uh, bull sharks are, they're not common visitors to New Jersey, but it does happen, and it happens a lot more frequently than great whites. Um, in the international attack file, uh, international shark attack file, sorry, the victims were listed as being killed by a great white, even though, um, to this day, no one is entirely sure. Because great whites <clears throat> can't, they can't really... <clears throat> <clears throat> they don't know, like like Piper was saying, like with the um, with the you know the tides changing, yeah, and, you even know, the all that stuff. Thing. But they yeah. said like the saline levels in the water mm-hmm. like would rise with the tide, so it Cause very well if, could have been a great white that made it into the fresh water. Because then if the ma- if, if if like the main uh, ocean gets the high tide, then it yeah. seeps into the creeks, like. And then makes the fresh water turn into salt just water. Salty enough. And yeah. then just, the shark yeah. is like, oh, this is pretty good. And then yeah. goes over. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what what the warm, like warm, shallow water is not used to. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I don't know. Either it's way. Like, it, like, like, think like Cedar Creek having a shark in it. That is, that's that, horrifying. To think yeah. about that is like, what the? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I can't eat oh, all. No, no, no. And especially because that dirty ass water, like. Yeah. Uh, cedar, cedar-wise water tastes like fucking pipe. Uh, so uh, to this like day, they still aren't entirely sure what kind of shark was responsible. Um, and in 1974, writer Peter Benchley published the novel Jaws, and it was adapt- It was adapted into the famous movie by Steven Spielberg just a year later. The book and film bear striking similarities to the 1916 Jersey Shore shark attacks. Like, it's the same thing, like, you know, hysteria, don't go in the ocean, mm-hmm. don't do... Like, it's mm-hmm. just... It was definitely... Yeah. And it's, like, know. the biggest movie to date, starring oh, a shark. And I it's love also... watching, like, the making of that movie. There was, like, a oh, little, yeah. little documentary about well, it. Well, didn't, it's like... So didn't, like... Uh, they used, like, a robot shark, but... It kept breaking. Yeah, mm-hmm. it kept dying, and the one that, like, worked was Bruce, right? Yeah, because, like, yeah. they... The thing broke constantly, and they went so over budget, and so, like, they were supposed to be yeah. done... You know, but it went months and months. You're gonna need over. a bigger boat than that. You're gonna need a bigger yeah. budget than that. And it was yeah, <laughs> but it was almost it was almost like scrapped. Like the like the yeah. the funders were like, what the fuck? Like like they almost canceled <clears throat> and said like we're not doing this anymore. Yeah, no, because if it's not cost effective. But I'll tell you what, it, in it the end, was incredible. In the end, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like like shark. I don't know. I love shark movies. Yeah. Um, but that put it on the map. Like that kind of would you say that was responsible for like. The whole the genre? Fear? Well, no, just the fear of, like, sharks. They actually gave sharks a movie mm. that portrays them as um, terrifying as it could be. Because yeah. it sounds like everyone was kind of naive back in the day. Yeah. they just never seen it because there was no internet, videos, mm. yeah. live leak, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But um, my sources were Wikipedia, and I watched a couple YouTube things from, like, the History Channel and mm. all that. Um, mm. It's super interesting. Yeah. It's, it, you know, it's crazy. And, like, I even... Like looked and you can see like the victims like graves online like mm-hmm. they're just like oh you poor babies yeah but um because there's like crazy. a whole like memorial uh plaque in uh, mm-hmm. Matawan for Lester and uh, Watson mm-hmm. so sound like lawyers Lester yeah. and Lester Watson. and Watson yeah. that Ugh. is sad man like it is yeah just what crazy. a horrible horrible thing especially because like, the youngest victim was eleven yeah no I have an eleven year old like yeah no. And it's just that's like an apex predator of the mm-hmm. ocean. That's like, like would you rather things that can kill would you things. rather be eaten by a shark or an alligator? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't even know. Because like, um, if I had no, like reason, an alligator's gonna drown your um, ass first. Or either that, or they're just gonna like grab my head and roll me and just break my neck off. Yeah, break, I feel like they bite my neck off. But I feel <laughs> like just head and shoulders. But I feel like because like the amount of teeth that a shark has, it would. Be done like, faster. Like, well, yeah. they're gonna drown you too. Yeah, once the adrenaline kicks yeah. in, you're probably not. You're just gonna go into uh-huh. shock uh, uh-huh. if you do. Uh-huh. But I feel like, cousin. Uh, I don't even know, man. Do you guys have a favorite shark movie besides Jaws? Honestly, this is really fucking goofy. But this is like the only other shark movie I know. Go for it. Lay it on me. Sharknado. I've never it's seen so it. So fucking corny. It's so funny though. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> the sharks are in the tornado. Like, <laughs> all that yeah. shit. Yeah, like they're, they're making a new one. With okay, Jesus Beavis. Yeah. <laughs> I've never. No, well, the Meg they're making with Jason Statham. That's what it was. The Meg. I was like, well, it's just. A I'm shitty. excited oh. to see that. The second one. Yes. It looks stupid. What about the Black Demon? But I love. Oh, I wanted to watch that. Stupid. 
black what the black demon it's like the oil rig i just watched the trailer for that the other day and i was gonna watch i'm like i was gonna watch it but i haven't yet um but i like i posted a thing on twitter i was like anyone like this anyone and people Mm. said that it was pretty good um i don't know i will never not watch deep blue sea if it's on yes i love the woman in that because i know ll is in it it's i don't know her name i don't know why i always i always think it's fucking that uh jessica biel it's definitely not I just know. I just in my head that's what I see. But thanks for asking. Uh, my mm-hmm. favorite. I was getting there. <laughs> my favorite. But I also love the shallows. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are forgetting a really big smash hit. What? That everyone has seen, everyone loves beloved movie. What? Oscar winning movie. What? Shark Tale. Stop it. Oh Shark Tale. He talks about Shark Tale I'm constantly. You. Oh my god. Me? I'm listening to Paula Cole and I'm watching Shark Tale. Yeah, I know. Imagine me. Imagine imagine me and me. Yeah. You're You'd single? Love it. You'd love it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I love you. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. Men. Men. I'm just kidding. No, you you're listening to that. Yes. You're listening to that <laughs> yes, song we always listen to before mic testing with my boyfriend's oh, back yeah, and dude. he's better than ever. Who was that again? No, and Who you're going to be that? in the trouble. Angels. Yeah. The Angels. No, no, my boyfriend's back and he's better than ever is Lana Del Rey. <laughs> oh, never, dude, I saw something recently about her working at a Waffle House. Was that real? Yes. What she. The? She For what? Just because? Like a pro- well, like promotional thing, or well, like a- well, she in her new album she released a song called Paris, Texas, and the Waffle House she works in is Florence, Alabama, which is sung about in Paris, Texas. So it's like she's going back to like oh, heal and everything. Is she actually working there? And like- yeah, she's working there, and she that's she's dangerous. She, she's like, what are you doing? No, she she's on like a whole like self recovery like journey because she like had a fucked up past like yeah but that's my thing is like you're working at a fucking waffle house no no offense mm-hmm. but like that's a place that's open late. but honestly she's trying to like live a simple life too that's uh, good. like she she tries to do things outside of her music well that's what i'm saying i mean that's yeah. you know it's interesting but um you know like we were mm-hmm. gonna get into eventually one of the episodes is gonna be like you know stalkers yeah and, crazy like, celebrity, yeah. celebrity yeah. stalkers that stuff is so scary Dude, even like dime bag like dime mm-hmm. bag shot fucking the, yeah. the american idol girl bjork stalker i'm sure you guys are that was aware. terrible yeah the bjork stalker well that one no but the, they're the, all terrible yeah they're all terrible but like mm-hmm. the american idol girl like oh just trying to just you know fucking and even like uh, non-celebrities of like crazy fucking stalkers like there was this one girl who like sent like 10,000 text messages a day to this dude and she and she was like blinded by delusions like there's numbers in the sky telling me that he is the one for me and everything she's She's scary ass shit she gives astrology girls a bad name yeah what do you think she was what do you think her sign was oof Uh, I'm not good with this all I know is I'm a sag I know yeah you're definitely a sag you reek of it which one was it was it the Paula or was it the I don't know what the other thing was. I forget. I don't remember either. Something bad. Oh, Shark Tale. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do I give off Aries vibes? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I could see you more of like a Pisces, though, mm. to be honest. I'm a Cancer Moon, that's why. Oh, uh, well, I'm a Cancer Sun. And that's... My dad's a Cancer Sun. Oh, that's, yeah, that's why we get along. Yes. I'm a Virgo Moon. Uh, what I'm hearing right now and... is Charlie Brown's teacher. And a Leo rising. And I'm a Leo rising. That explains my great hair. I'm a Libra rising, which is probably why I get along with my sister, because she's a Libra sun. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. So interesting. I'm a zebra. Yes. I'm a zebra cunning. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do your your birth chart one day. I'm a wa- yes. I'm a waning. Uh, I'm a waning. He's a Taurus. waxing gibbous. Oh yeah, great. yeah, waxing gibbous. <laughs> uh, but we have been going for a long time. Oh yeah. And I think it's time we wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. it was it was fun. This now was I want to go to the aquarium. Fun. We should. Oh, yeah. that'd be a fun field trip. Ooh, like Jenkinsons. Jenkinsons we sucks. We can touch the sand. You can see the whole Jenkinsons aquarium in ten minutes. True. I mean, isn't there one in Cape May as well? There's one in Camden too. Oh, Camden. We need to go to a cool ass museum. I want to go to a cool one. Yeah, like Baltimore. Is there haunted museums? There's a haunted aquarium. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Imagine that haunted aquarium. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, guys. Well. This has been another episode of Coffee and Scream. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave us a nice review. Um, don't forget to check out Wonder Time Theater every Tuesday at 8 o'clock on Twitch. Twitch.tv mm-hmm. forward slash Wonder Time Theater. And also, Follow where are we on Instagram? Coffee the, the and Scream show about pod. Movies. Yes, and we are also on, t- on Twitter. I was at Titter. Titter. <laughs> oh. We're also on Twitter. I'm 
at C Scream Pod. That is C the letter Scream Pod. And until next time, guys, stay safe and lock, lock your, your doors. doors.